I guess it's two different things. First of all, I'm looking for them to be proactive and be reaching out to me. I'm looking for them to find better ways than just send in a resume through an email address or something that's listed on Craigslist. I mean, very often I'll intentionally list my name. Uh, I'm, I'm very transparent. You Google Ted Rubin, you're going to find a lot of information. There's a lot of ways to reach out to me. All my sites, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, they all have my email address. Most have my phone number. So to me, what I'm looking for is someone that's a little bit more aggressive. I'm looking for someone that I think has some social media smarts. So that doesn't mean they're certainly not going to have the experience that someone in business will have. Um, and again, I'm, I'm the last person to think that young people get social media because I really don't. I think what they get is they get the platforms and they'll understand it better than I will any day of the week. How best to leverage um, a new platform, a new idea. What they don't understand is the branding and the marketing and all that goes behind building those relationships because they don't have the experience. It's no different than driving a car. You get into a car, you get your lessons, you drive, but you, a car comes racing at you. 20 years from that first date, you're going to react very differently than you do that first date because of experience, because of things you've learned. Same thing comes in relationship building. You learn the keys, you learn the signs of how to react to somebody, when to say, the, when to say one thing, when to say another. So I'm looking for people that react to me well in an interview. Um, mo really importantly, once they get in to see me, I want to see follow-up. And I can't tell you how often I don't see anything. Not even a simple email, thank you for the interview. They're off my list. They're, they're, they're not going to hear from me again.